Hey everyone, how's it going today? Um, what we got going on for you today, we're looking at simplifying complex fractions and we're going to be doing that by rationalizing the denominator. So I know it looks really, really confusing. You might have been like, what the heck is my teacher talking about? Um, as it was brought up in class, like complex, rationalizing the denominator. And then even, they probably were saying this a lot, complex conjugates. That's a fun one. My class was like, what are we doing today? Complex conjugates. But really, none of this is very difficult at all. Um, and let's go ahead and look at these examples. So the reason we do this is right here, we have 2i in my denominator right there. And we don't like to have that i in the denominator. And so what we do is we multiply by the conjugate. So multiply by the conjugate, which is going to be the basically the opposite of the imaginary part of my denominator. So my denominator says 2i, so it's going to be negative 2i over negative 2i. So why is it negative 2i over negative 2i? Well, anything divided by itself as a fraction is equal to 1. So what's really happening is I'm multiplying by 1, but Obviously, if I do like 4 times 1, that's not going to change anything. Really, this is just 4. So I can multiply by 1. Um, that, that's me showing you how it can be done. And now, you're just going to go ahead and distribute. So this negative 2i is going to go into this 4. So it's going to say negative 8i. And then the negative 2i is going to go into this negative 6i. So that's going to say positive 12i squared all over, well, negative 2 times 2, that's negative 4. And then i times i, that's going to be i squared. All right, and now we can simplify this even more. Because what's happening is you might have remembered that i squared is equal to negative 1. So I want to make that substitution real quick. Negative 8i plus 12, sorry, 12, and i squared becomes negative 1. So notice how I put the i squared part right here in parentheses over here as negative 1. I'm going to do it again in my denominator, negative 4, negative 1, squared. No, not squared. I was just thinking the i squared, but that's actually not squared. All right, there, gone. Um. And so next, I want to simplify these. So it's going to say negative 8i, and then 12 times negative 1, that's going to say minus 12, but negative 12. So minus 12 over, well, negative 4 times negative 1, that's positive 4. All right? Remember, this, this uh, negative 12 should come before the uh, imaginary part. So I'm just going to rewrite the numerator right there. So negative 12, 12, there we go, negative 12 minus 8i. Man, I'm starting all of my signs like backwards today. What's up with that? So minus 8i over 4 still. So notice I didn't really change anything about my numerator um, because what, what I'm doing is I'm still just taking the uh, the negative 12, negative 12 is still here, and the negative 8i, negative 8i is still there. All I'm doing is putting it in a plus bi form. Okay, now um, I want to simplify these fractions. So I'm going to split it up. So now it's going to say negative 12 over 4 minus 8 over 4 supposed to be a 4, i. All right, so negative 12 over 4, that can get simplified to negative 3. Then minus 8 over 4, that can get simplified to minus 2, and then the i. Now, if these couldn't get simplified, uh, then yeah, you could leave it right here at this point. Um, but you always want to uh, simplify it out. You uh, Sometimes I just write it out like this, and I just leave it like this part. Um, but this negative 3 minus 2i, when it can be simplified, is as far as you want to go. So notice, I don't have any fractions anymore. 
I don't have a denominator with imaginary numbers. All of that's gone, and I'm left with something that's even simpler. So let's go ahead and move our, to our next example. Let's see, there it is. So we have 2 minus 3i over 1 plus 5i. Now again, we're going to multiply by the conjugate of my denominator. And what I said earlier was you have the opposite of the imaginary part. So that wherever the i is. The real part, that's going to stay the same. So it's going to say 1 minus 5i over 1 minus 5i. And so what we do here is we're going to want to FOIL. But I'm just going to like write it out a little bit more just because I want to be extra clear about what's going on. So 2 minus 3i times 1 minus 5i over 1 plus 5i times 1 minus 5i. Okay, so what I'm going to get from that is I'm going to FOIL. So 2 times 1, that should go all the way over there. So 2 times 1, that's going to be 2. 2 times negative 5, that's minus 10. Oh, negative 5i, so minus 10i. Negative 3i times 1, that's minus 3i. And then negative 3i times negative 5i. That's going to be positive 15i squared over my denominator. 1 times 1, that's going to give me 1. 1 times negative 5i, that's going to give me negative 5i. 5i times 1, that's going to give me positive 5i. And then 5i times negative 5i, that's going to say minus 25i squared. Now we need to simplify this a lot. Okay, so 2 and then negative 10i minus 3i, that's going to give me negative 13i. And then 15i squared, well i squared is negative 1, so it's going to be 15 times negative 1 over, well, these parts are going to cancel out. Again, that's why the conjugate is so helpful, is because you're always going to be canceling those inner parts out because those two numbers are opposites. So I'm going to have 1 minus 25, and i squared is negative 1 times negative 1. From here, I'm going to keep on simplifying. So 2 minus 13i minus 15, because 15 times negative 1. And then 1, and then negative 25 times negative 1, that's going to be plus 25. All right, let's keep it going. So 2 minus 15, that's going to give me negative 13 minus 13i. And then in my denominator, I'll have 26. So again, I want to split these up. Negative 13 over 26 minus 13 over 26i, which is going to be equal to, well, negative 13 over 26, that's negative half. So negative 1 half minus 1 half i. And again, you can put them together, but I like my students to write it out like this to be very clear about the real part and the imaginary part. All right, we have our next example coming up right here. And go ahead, pause the video if you want to check it out um, on your own. This is a bit of a challenge, but I really encourage you to try out everything that you know at this point. So. What I notice here is that I had this 1 plus i squared part in my denominator. I don't want to go immediately multiplying by 1 minus i. That won't be the conjugate. I have to simplify my denominator first. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to do 1 plus i. And it's squared, so it's 1 plus i. So 
So 1 times 1 is going to give me 1. And then, where am I? 1 times i, that's going to give me i. So plus i. And then, let's see. i times 1, that's going to give me i. And then i times i, that's going to give me i squared. So I squared the 1 plus i. Now I'm going to have 1 plus 2i. And then i squared, that's negative 1. So plus the negative 1. Well, that 1 and that 1 is going to cancel out. And I'm only left with the 2i. So I'm actually going to rewrite my problem now to say 3 plus 2i over 2i. Now as we go forward, I'm going to multiply by the conjugate of 2i, because that's what this denominator simplifies to. So times negative 2i over negative 2i. And we're going to go across equals factor. So negative 2i times 3, this is negative 6i. Negative 2i times 2. Or so negative 2i times 2i. That's negative 2i squared over 2i times negative 2i. That's negative 4i squared. Replace my i squareds with negative 1s. So negative 6i minus 2 times negative 1 over negative 4 times negative 1. And that's going to equal negative 6i. And then negative 2 times negative 1 is positive 2 over negative 4 times negative 1. That's positive 4. I'm going to switch it out, that numerator. So it's going to say 2 minus 6i now. Just flop it over 4. And now I'm going to split up my fractions. It's going to say 2 over 4 minus 6 over 4i. Now 2 over 4, that's a simple fraction, that's 1 half, minus, and then 6 over 4, that's another simple fraction, that's going to be 3 over 2i. Again, you can put these together, you can write 1 minus 3i over 2. I have no problem with that, that is correct, but for my students, I do like to see it like as it is here. Um, your teacher may want you to write it with uh, divided by 2 all in one simpler uh, looking fraction, but um, these are equivalent. So that's going to be our last example. I hope you did well with that challenge. If you need more practice, uh, go check out uh, the assignments that I have on my webpage. But if you need more help, make sure you contact me. My name is Mr. Hernandez, and I'm always here to help.